Greetings, the Most High. Uh, today, um, we, we are, let's say we're going to do a, a very short video on arthritis, osteo, and rheumatoid because they're both inflammatory disorders or diseases they call it in the medical system. And I'm um, going to make a uh, juice that, that will help lots of people, old as well as young, who is suffering from osteo. Rheumatoid is totally different because it's an autoimmune disease. So, although we can use these uh, fruits and some vegetables, it is imperative that you go to the apotherics to balance back the immune system so that you can repair your rheumatoid arthritis, which is more detrimental than osteo, right? So, we're going to make this juice for osteo and rheumatoid, but if you do have rheumatoid arthritis, then you have to get mushrooms and you have to get some of the plants like licorice and ashwagandha and Cassandra berries and chaga to balance back the immune system because the agas amperterix, yeah? So we're going to give that all these here uh, with the work as anti-inflammatories. So we're going to get some cantaloupe, you have some pineapple, and I want to mention too also that this part of the pineapple right here have more of the bromelain that helps to digest protein also, but it's very good for inf inflammation. So you could even make this as a tea and mix it with some turmeric, you know, and some um, anica, uh, cat's claw, yucca, and um, they'll help with all this, with, um, inflammation also, okay? So not only the pineapple itself, but also the leaf, yeah? Wonderful. And then we have a green apple for neutralization because the green apple will help to uh, cause the pH to stay at 7.0, 7.45, or even 7.8. The higher, the higher you push the pH up is much better. All right, then you have the turmeric, which have curcumin, which is very significant for not only osteo, but also rheumatoid because it is anti-inflammatory. But turmeric also helps to balance back the immune system when it is overactive. So if you have lupus, cellulodoma, muscular dystrophy, myasthenia gravis, and even RA, rheumatoid arthritis, you can also use turmeric in a tea to help to balance back the immune system with some ginger, okay? and also mushrooms and then we have again pineapple green cantaloupe and also we could put a little onion if you like yeah so we're gonna make two uh, uh blends one is for the lung when you have lung cancer or you have a tumor on your lung and you have a cough or you have bronchitis or you have pneumonia you know these we'll be going to tell you how to use these here for that condition also so first we're going to go to the the blend for the juice for arthritis, osteo and rheumatoid. And if you do have osteoarthritis, you can use three to four glasses of that per day and remove all the refined carbohydrates and lots of sugars and do not eat tomatoes. If you have RA, do not eat tomatoes because it can cause you, the person who have rheumatoid arthritis, to get more inflammation, okay? All the, what we call the dark, shady vegetables. All right, that's number one. Then we're going to number two now. Now this guy's right here is onions, yeah, and garlic and ginger. So if a person come to you to me and they have a cough and they have what we call spasmodic coughing, or they have pneumonia, or they have bronchitis, 
we can use herbs internally, but we can also use herbs the external way also. So what we can do is we can put these herbs together in a cheese cloth and we can put some water in a pot. See, and you have this guy right here. You put them on, the, on top of the pot, you boil the water, and while the water is boiling, you are going to take these guys in the cheesecloth and you're going to put them inside this guy. And once he's covered, then the heat will come in and start removing the compounds, allicin and all the ginger oil from these uh, food herbs because they're food plants. And once the, it gets hot enough, you can take that, that cheesecloth and you can put these in the cheesecloth after removing it from the water when it's hot and just fold that cloth up with all these food plants in there that have anti-inflammatory anti uh, uh, activity and you can drop it on the patient's chest with lungs is that and you can cover it with a towel yeah and what that does is send all the fumes and the compounds into the lung so if the lung is congested or you have what we call a damp condition of the lung, you can also use the ginger as a tea with orange peel, the yellow orange peel, and that will help the condition of the lung that is damp and also cold because this is what we call a diaporetic plant. But externally, you can put it in a cheesecloth, hot it up, and then put it in the, the uh, tie the cloth up, put it on the chest, and then you put a towel over there, and it, all the all the food fumes go in. And if there is a tumor on your chest, or there's a tumor in the right or the left lobe of the lung, these food plants will do the job for you and keep the cancer away or remove the tumor from your lung, remove ammonia, and remove also bronchitis. If there is ammonia. You can use six grain of the garlic. Come over here, girl. Six grain of the garlic. And you're going to use this herb with another herb called elecampane. And you're going to use it regularly. Like, you're going to sweat garlic. You're going to smell like garlic. And when you use this herb together with the herb called elecampane, which is an expectorant, and you have ammonia, in about two to three days, ammonia is gone because they are antibacterial and antiviral. And they have both antibacterial also and antiviral activity. Blessed love. Give thanks. Patrick Doves, holistichealing.com. That's the website you got to go to get these products. Blessed love. Give thanks.